Hello guys, it's Blackrod from 287 and welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna do a video about skins and especially about the skin store on Eden because as you guys know, uh, this channel is gonna be always focusing on free to play ways the most as possible. So I have been request many times videos about skins of the heroes, what skins I should buy. Of course now there's uh, a lot of skins so i don't know if i'm gonna do a video specially for each skin but for now we're gonna start with this because also some people asked me what to buy on the skin store what's the more interesting hero to buy so we're gonna talk about it today so as you can see uh in eden so i don't know who it is rock now but i don't know if it's available for you guys in rock you guys can tell me in the comments but at least in Eden, sure, so you have the skin store. So here you can buy the bio biography seals to increase uh, your skins and unlock the, the skills there. Uh, so as you can see for now, there's only few heroes available. We don't know yet if we're gonna have new ones. Uh, there's a lot of people requesting this. I don't know if Dev's gonna put new ones, but for now, that's what we have. So we have the skin of Lionheart. We have a skin for Beast Queen, a skin for a skin for Rosen, another skin for Bleeding Steed, another skin for uh, Immortal Guardian, a skin for Roman, and a skin for Avalanche. So the question that always people ask: What skin to buy first? Because of course it takes a, quite a long time to have enough coins to to be able to buy them. For example, me, I only have two and almost three. As you can see, I, I am 1k50. Um, so I guess it, it's going to be quite complicated to tell you a list about the best or the worst skin. Because actually what's going to matter on this? Because almost all the skins... Uh, on the game uh, are good actually there's some skins who are not great great but every time there's a skin he's gonna increase uh, the hero so we can't really determine what skin gonna be the best what we need to determine it's what hero gonna be more important on your castle and so the skin on this hero gonna be important because if you just take a skin for a hero, even if this hero is really good, but you don't have the good heroes to combine with him and you can't play this hero, it's not going to be really worth it to buy the skin for this hero because you're not going to do a good use on it. So I'm going to try to give you a kind of rank, but of course it's going to be really personal for each castle and depending what legions you play, what heroes you have. So I'm going to try to explain the most simple uh, as possible. So we're gonna start. So for me, uh, the rank one skin, the one that you should buy uh, first, it's gonna be Rosen, the skin of Rosen. Because the skin of Rosen is actually really good. Um, the skin of Rosen increase the damage on the enemy. It's really a good buff and also increase the chance to cast the skill, but this is almost in every, every skill. So, it's really a good skin to have because this uh, hero, Rosen, you're going to use it really since the beginning of the game until the season I am now. So it's going to be a hero who's going to be really every time on the top 10 on, uh, on each season. So you, of course, going to use it a lot and there's a lot of uh, combos to use with it. So for me, I really believe this is the most the must-have skin to have. On your legions because if you are in early stage on the game you're gonna play bri so beast queen rose and immortal so she's gonna be there then when you're gonna unlock spectra reaper there's a really strong legion with spectra reaper and sakura and rosen so she's gonna be super strong even more later with farah 
and Immortal and also with Sendiata. So there's really a lot of really strong legions that Rosen gonna be super good. So for me, she is the must have that you're gonna need. So of course, if you don't have those, the BRI, or for example, you don't have Sendiata, you don't have those heroes to pair with her and to go to do the legions with her, you should go for the second option of my personal list. So in the rank two, for me, I'm going to put Avalanche. So Avalanche, uh, actually the skill going to be transformed. Uh, his skill going to be become um, a prep skill and it's going to increase a lot the damage. So of course, Avalanche is a really strong hero. As you know, after SX2, when you unlock her, you're going to use it almost every time also in a lot of legions. So she's going to be also like Rosen playable until now, since she's, she's unlocked, she's gonna be played. She's really one of the strongest uh, cavalry damage hero. So of course, his skin gonna be super important to get. So those two heroes are really the, the rank one and two. So if you don't really have heroes who pair really well with uh, Rosen, or if you don't play her, of course, Avalanche gonna be your option one. If it's the opposite, you're gonna take Rosen. Avalanche is going to be also something important to know. She's going to be even more interesting. I mean, the skill, uh, the skin. The skin going to work even better if you have heroes who are going to increase the prep skill chances or to make her skip the prep uh, skill chances, like the Seed, who do that. Also, John Dark. So those heroes are going to be super important to make the skill even better. So the skin gonna be more interesting if you have those heroes. So keep this in, in mind also. So let's say those two are quite equal in rank one and rank two, but they are definitely the most important to get. So the rank three, it's gonna be Bleeding Steed. So the skin of Bleeding Steed gonna make him be really more tanky because he's gonna decrease the damage of the opponent. So it's gonna make him really be even more tanky than he is and we actually always use him as a defensive hero and also a lot on defensive legions like Loman bleeding warhammer or also bleeding warhammer and lust angel so this skin is really good and it's going to be a hero also that you're going to use a lot in mixed legions especially he's going to be really good especially in mixed legions so of course it, it's a really a skin to have. It's definitely the rank three that you're gonna need um, on your legions. So let's now go for the top four. And the top four, I'm gonna put, of course, uh, the skin of Loman. So Loman, uh, the skin gonna increase her healing. If I remember correctly, it's gonna increase the healing and also the chances to be cast or something like this. I don't remember exactly. It's not a huge buff that she have, but the skin, of course, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna increase her stats. So it's definitely gonna be your um, your four choices on the, those skins. So she's gonna also be really good on the Legion's defensives. And also when gonna Avalanche come out, she's gonna be the best cavalry tank hero in front row. So hero super important. So now we're gonna go really on the bottom of the list and i'm gonna put i'm gonna put beast queen uh in uh rank five so as you can see the skin is really cheaper but it's good it's interesting uh you're gonna tell me but of course there's the bri so as i say this ranking is like a kind of global ranking and beast queen not going to be usable all the all the game like she's going to be super strong for bri on the beginning until uh, sx2 but after sx2 she's not going to be playable really well like you're not going to find her in any legions who's going to be really good so i do believe it's it's not a must have it's really not a must a must have because you're not going to take really a lot advantage of the skin because you're not gonna play it really for a long time so for me it's gonna be the rank 5 still because she's still good and now top 6 top 6 we're gonna choose immortal guardian actually the skin have 
um, have really good stats. But that's the thing, Immortal Guardian is also not a super, super strong hero. There's one or two seasons he's going to be in some good archery combos, but that's it. It's really not going to be usable so much, so this hero is going to disappear very fast. So definitely not worth it to buy, really not worth it. So it's going to be a rank 6. And of course, for the last, the rank 7, it's going to be Lionheart. Lionheart is like really a uh, useless hero, let's say. I mean, for fighting, because he's, um, he's really good. Uh, I mean, he's really going to be useful because you're going to use it for uh, the speed tiling because he's the one of the heroes who have the, the perk to, to work faster. But for fighting, he's going to be super useless. So the skin really not going to be... Even if the skin was super great, the hero not going to be really usable. So... Is going to probably be usable just for S1. After this, is going to be replaced by uh, Immortal. So, really useless uh, skin. So, that's it. So, I guess I helped you a little bit uh, to choose the heroes that you're going to buy. So, as I say, this is a personal ranking. Uh, like a kind of global view of all the seasons because it's going to really depend on the seasons you are and also the heroes you are. So I tried to explain a little bit why I choose. So now that's you to make your own personal list depending on the seasons and hero that you are. Um, I will just give a few words really fast about skins because I always get also the question what's the best skin to buy what's the best skin to buy so if you guys have some money and want to buy uh, hero skins I'm gonna just give two names that I really recommend to buy because they are super strong and really usable a lot and for me it's gonna be the skin for War Warhammer and Arslan definitely the two best skins to have uh, on the game if you want to pay so I'm not going to say more, it's just a small a small answer for some people who asked me. So we finished for this short video and I see you soon for the next. Peace out.